So the major thing that they're going to be really is the economy. I'm sorry for the background noise. I don't have any control over that. But y'all, it's the economy. Um, but what's standing out about this car to me is, is almost like the government like being more sneaky on how they get money from us or how they report money from us. So it's like new ways of finding out what we're doing and and how we're doing it. It reminds me of more surveillance, surveillance, how you say it? More watching, the cameras watching you. Like, like I, I actually think like the government is become, is gonna become more aggressive with getting money out of us and collecting money from us. Um, it just has a very aggressive, it's very aggressive. It's almost like forcing the economy to jumpstart. So if you owe in like back taxes, if you owe in certain things, you're actually going to see them um, become more aggressive on wanting their money. So it's a lot more aggression in getting money. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, it's the energy of... <sighs> hmm... which isn't going to help because it's going to cause the the economy to actually collapse. Um, and it's actually going to cause them to have to reroute. So what they thought they was going to do wasn't going to work. Like, you know how all of us now have to start paying student loans if we have them, all of these things. It's, it's almost like they're testing it out and it's going to be a huge flop. So I'm seeing where, but I'm seeing that us as a people, we actually continue to move forward, um, not in the sense of the government, but in a sense of us growing money within our own communities and just doing our own thing. Like it was weird, but I remember I was doing a thing where the government is trying to get rid of cash, but I see us using more cash because the government's not going to be able to track it. So it shows us, it shows them trying to like really tighten up on counting all of our pennies. And then it shows us going underground where we start to use cash more. So it's crazy. We, we actually start a completely different type of currency or, or movement. Um, and we're not going to accept it either. Like we're actually, there's some funny laws coming y'all about money and how it's moved. And we just find it completely almost like an invasion of privacy. It's like, okay, y'all are doing too much. So it shows us protesting. It even shows us pushing back and being like, okay, y'all are, y'all are, um, y'all don't know what, what you're doing. Um, we're the, the, the the cost of food is going to skyrocket, which is going to cause us to become even more enraged. It's almost like Americans are going to take back our power because we're enraged. There's a rage in these cards. Like, I, I, I had a side eye. I was like, y'all are not going to take this. We're not. Um, we just feel like we cannot keep living like this. Like, the cost of gas is, is $4, $5. Um, the cost of food, it's a lot of when is this going to get better? It, it's its a lot of protesting like, okay, now you already told us this and this and that, but it's getting ridiculous. It's the energy of the system is going to crash because Americans don't want, we don't want these new laws. Like we don't care about like, okay, now y'all want to enact a law to blah, 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 and to blah, blah, blah. And, and it shows us like retaliating out of frustration and being like, no, but an apple costs $5. You know what I'm saying? It's like, come on. It's like, no. Mm -mm. There's also this year is going to be a big year 
of exposing people to. So if we thought people got exposed in 20, when it comes to like money and our economy, a lot of injustices are going to be exposed when it comes to how the capitalism in this country is, is, is causing a lot of problems. Um, a lot of stuff is going to be exposed. Stuff that we didn't even, a lot of whistleblowing, a lot of, hey, here's what's really going on. Your gas prices are high and they're going to be able to show evidence. They're going to be able to show evidence. And that's what's going to scare them is the fact that we can show evidence. And so whatever Biden is trying to do, it ain't going to work. And even if the law passes, it's not going to, it's just a lot of like, no, it's like, we're not going to take it. Oh, we ain't going to take it. It's, it's that type of energy. It's the type of energy. Fuck you and your policies. But like, this doesn't make sense for what we're going through right now. So it just shows us being fed up. And I'm about to pull out one more card. It's like they end up having to go back to the drawing board because what they're trying to do is not working. It's, it's, it's not giving what it's supposed to give with how we as the American people are being treated. And as you should, you should stand out for your rights and not accepting the way things are being done. It's just, we're, we're not even happy with how, it, it's just a lot of continuation of what we were, we weren't happy in 2020, we were happy in 2020, and we sure as hell ain't, ain't. A lot of stuff comes up to the top because changes need to be made. You see what I'm saying? A lot of things are coming up in your life, especially your mental health, your emotional health, because certain things need to be changed. You see what I'm saying? So we're really at a breaking point at this point. We're like, okay, no, no. Fuck you. Fuck your laws. We don't give a fuck. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? How how are people in the United States going to um, handle um, 2022? How are people in the United States going to um, handle... This lamp is hot as hell. How are people going to handle... Um, 2022, how are we going to do as citizens? Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Oh, wow. Remember I said truth is coming out? Remember, a, true, a, a, a a lot of shit is going to be exposed. We're going to be like, oh, I can't believe it's not butter. Like, we just going to be like, oh, y'all been lying in these motherfucking streets. Y'all been lying in these motherfucking streets. But it's also coming from the ancestral realm. Our ancestors are telling us to speak up. Don't bite your tongue. Speak up. The, the people who wanted better for us, who have passed on, 2022 is actually also a very revolutionary year. It's a year where we're really like, we're like, we will, we will rock you. We will, we will. A lot of your ancestors who weren't pleased with how stuff was done back in the day are coming through you to tell you, yo, stand up. Like 2022 is a stand up year because a lot of shit is going to get worse. And we're just going to be like, look, <laughs> we can't take it no more. You want us to do this. You want us to do that. But what are y'all doing? And it shows us actually having to help each other more. It shows us actually um, having to have more compassion and like reaching out to help more people. So it's telling me whenever I start seeing too many helping cards, it reminds me of like natural, what is it called? Natural disasters, more natural disasters where we as Americans will have to come forward and help each other. 
Mm, so it's giving me hurricanes, tidals, all that stuff that psychics predict every year. They'd be like, there's going to be a huge earthquake, uh, a huge tsunami, a huge wave. There is going to be some stuff where it shows us having to reach out to um, keep helping each other. Um, and it shows up twice. So there's going to be two events in the United States that take place. One is up north and one feels like it's more in the Midwest or in the West area. It could be just be California, y'all. Who knows? But there is something coming where... Um, we're going to tell the government to really kiss our ass like this year. We are because, and it's not just a democratic government. It's also, it's everybody. Like y'all ain't doing y'all's jobs, period. Point poo. Like gas is $15. Like how, how the hell you expect me to go to work and pay $1,500 a month in child care or even more and then pay three thousand dollars a month in a house or a damn apartment you see what i'm saying the cost of a steak is 25 dollars. what do y'all want it's like when we finally hit that okay like this is enough we just finally it's a year of a lot of frustration is going to be like released there's more protesting it's just people being tired it's like look I'm tired of shopping at the Goodwill. <laughs> like, it's like, this is ridiculous. Things are not getting better. Things are getting worse. Um, so, Spirit, tell us, how is Corona going to... That's a gust of wind, y'all. It's blowing everything away. How is that... How is Corona going to affect us in 2020? There is progress, um, not in no cure, because I don't see no cure, but I see progress when it comes. And I've already predicted this two two years ago, a year ago, whatever. Um, we did see some new meds or new stuff coming out. I saw pills. I saw stuff like that. They're going to put them out. There's, there's more advancement in fighting it. So... Um, it shows, but it's like the focus is more on the on the economy than the actual virus. I really feel like after like this year, it is what it is. Like it has a very like look after twenty twenty two, you won't see us. It's just the they're like it's on y'all to, to take y'all shots and to take y'all's pills early if y'all get sick. We're not. We're worried about money. We worried about money at this point. Money being bled out. You know what I'm saying? Is it really worth it? The, the, the government is really, is really asking. It's it's. <laughs> Corona has this energy of like, it. It's like it it infests. The, the currency, it infests, like the way we do trade, it infests, it's like a fester. Um, Y'all, I'm trying to be positive. I'm really trying to be positive. Um, I don't think this, what's been going on at the like borders where stuff is not coming on time, stuff is just sitting there, it's going to get worse. It's going to get worse. It's gonna get worse. Corona is literally about to keep shutting down whatever stuff is just gonna take, stuff is gonna be harder to get. It's gonna get worse. It's like we've reached the boiling point of Corona in 2022. It's just a lot of stuff. Commerce is not moving again as it should. S epic shortages, not like 2021. Or 2020, like shortages, like, oh, we don't know when we're getting it in. We don't know. We don't know. Like, it's going to be a we don't know. Do you know what? I don't know. 
you know, um, it's, it's that type of like response. It's going to play with our economy and it shows us trying so hard to juggle it and trying so hard to control it. But this has a mind of its own when it comes to how it messes with the economy. Um, There's going to be a country that is going to do something to us when it comes to, they're going to do something funny. It, it feels, guys, I don't even want to say this because I don't, I didn't think it could get any worse. I think our gas prices are going up again. Um, but it's, but it's being done maliciously almost. There's a maliciousness behind it. It's, there's a man over water who's going to play with gas. He's going to play with resources. It's almost like, oh, well, Corona already made stuff bad. So we're going to use it to manipulate America and we're going to use it to get more money out of them, which is going to cost the cost of everything to go up. And I think that's where the rage is going to come from, from people in the United States. Like, we're obviously being fucking bamboozled at this point. Um, it's a lot of rage. Um, somebody is going to really try us. Somebody is going to really try us over water. And they're, but it feels like a Middle Eastern country. Not like they want war, but they're going to play with us. And gas prices are going up even higher. And we're just going to be like, okay. This, no, <laughs> like, we're just going to be like, this don't make no sense. Like, it's it's a lot of frustration. Um, and it's a lot of frustration. And it's a lot of, almost like countries are starting to now want to punish us. And they're using Corona as a way to do it. You see what I'm saying? Well, we'll just charge them this since, you know, it's it's a lot of, and I think, I think America is trying to choose their battles very wisely at this point. Like, we're going to be like, I know gas ain't no $10 a gallon. Like, it's going to be something crazy, y'all. Like, we're going to be like, okay, y'all done lost y'all's mind and it make me cry, cry, cry. It's, it's going to be crazy. We, we... Okay, when I just want to ask, I'm tired, y'all. I don't even want to do this. I just want y'all to focus on your self-growth and what is best for you as an individual in 2022. Stay positive. Keep moving because celebrities are getting their, their mansions robbed. They're getting their cars stolen. It's, it, it's a lot of anarchy, a lot of people um, breaking into people's homes. Like you got to really have balls and your guns and your and your prayers ready. You see what I'm saying? Because there's just a lot of everybody's just picking their battles at at this point. You know, it just gives me the energy of your police officers may not give a fuck. You know what I'm saying at this point? So it's like you're gonna have to learn how to protect yourself and things of that like. Because it just looks like. Everybody's just picking their battles in the cars. Let me see. What can you tell us about 2022? What can you tell us about 2022? Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Y'all, we are going to have very big problems with a warlord who lives over water. I don't know if we're going to war, but he wants the drama. Like, he woke up and he chose violence today. Um, there is a threat coming from over water. It is a well-established government. It is not a, a weak environment. He wants the fire. He wants the fire. He wants the smoke. He's, this is why I'm hot. 
this is why I'm hot. He is, and he's coming soon. Um, he wants all the smoke. And it reminds me of someone who's been preparing and it's gonna come when we don't expect it. And, and it's gonna come during a time of like rest. Um, and it's coming soon. Um, they've been waiting to do this. And it's going to shock us. Like it's, it's going to put us in a place of shock, like in a huge place of shock in a huge place of, um, wow. I didn't know it was going to go down like that. It shows the United States having to protect two borders. Somebody said, oh, it's China because China's have, mm, this don't feel like China. This feels like something else. And you know why they're doing it? They're doing it to cripple our economy even more. It's it's done on purpose. It's it's done to keep bringing things down until it's a point of like devastation. Um it does show Biden um actually trying to protect our turf or trying to protect our territory. Um it does show him standing up for us. Um, and trying to do some type of protection um, for us. It is a war. It is a war. We do go to war. We do. We do. A part of me is like, am I making this up? So maybe I am making this up. Hopefully none of none, none, none of this shit happens and, and it's completely inaccurate. But it looks like we go to war and then another country tries to come and support them and tries to go to war with us. So it's like we, we got two wars in one. So it's like while we're fighting, other people try to join in. And that's when shit actually gets real. That's when shit really gets real, y'all. It gets real. It gets real. If this is not a war, it's going to be heavy conversations of war. Heavy. Um, hmm. It shows where we try to defend our territory and we get a partial victory and they get a partial victory and then it it puts our economy at a standstill. Like a standstill where we're not getting anything coming in through like borders, nothing is coming in, nothing is coming out. Um, it even shows Americans even staying in their home more or having to stay home more which is also a Corona thing. 2022 is a tough year. It's a tough year. Um, I think it's gonna, you know how folks who lived through World War II had certain habits? You, I think we're gonna develop certain habits from, from this, from going through Corona and some weird war stuff. Um, so it shows us being like having certain habits. So I'll have certain habits that people may find weird who was born way after all of this. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, there's there's a warlord, y'all. Heavy in the cards. Um, he want all the smoke. He want all the smoke. And it looks like he's got people supporting him too. He's, he's not coming alone. But I feel like the country that ends up supporting him is going to get the ass dealt with. And they're going to feel stupid forever even trying it um but the other country it looks like they may have a partial victory um it's gonna slow down our economy even more 
that's going to slow down our economy even more. Um, if we do go to war, how is this going to, how is the United States going to be able to hand the bullet? Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. It shows us trying to protect our economy. A lot of self-protection of economy. Um, trying to still, like, get everybody to calm down, to keep spending money. But I think there's this energy of Americans are going to be, be like, nah, we ain't falling for this one. It's bad out here. We know that. Um, how is America going to handle th this war. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. We come out of it, but we come out of it tired. We, we come out of it tired. And it's speaking about having a new enemy that we, it shows the, the man who started it, it shows him like retreating, but there's a great weakness in our cards. Like we're tired. Like it's like, if we get one more problem, it's like a victory, but it's a victory that feels like. Rocky Balboa and it's your last match and you win but it's like if you fight one more time you're gonna die it's 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 that type of energy it's the energy of I'm motherfucking tired it's like the country is tired there's a lot of border issues y'all like we might as well get prepared for shortages um because our borders be, are going to be closed closed like we're not going to be doing a lot of stuff um don't be shocked if international travel is weird after this forever for a while because it shows where even we're not even and it's not even because of corona it's, it's because of what just happened war wise um it shows us not being able travel is going to be funny due to political and of course corona um reasons what is the biggest message for the united states well what is i want to stick i need some positivity look y'all about to spray some enchantment it's supposed to bring bring them to you honey but um i'm about to spray myself with some love maybe for some self-love or some i don't know Spray it up, spray it up. Enchantment, trap, trap them, trap them. When you going out, when you going on a date, trap them. <laughs> All right, y'all, hold on, let me see. What is the overall message for the United States? What is the overall message for the United States? Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Twenty-two is it's a year of fighting like it's a year of like of us having to put up our arms having to like the the people are fighting the government the people are fighting each other the the outside foreign governments are trying to fight us a lot it's just a lot of um problems with other people who we didn't know we had problems with over water, funny acting people. It's like, oh, I thought I thought we was cool. Well, we're not. It's a lot of, oh, so you're not as cool as I thought you was. No, I'm not. Um, I 
the economy will start to move a little bit better in June, like in the summer, it looks like, again, summertime, it looks like May, June, July, August, we start getting a little bit better. Stuff starts to move more. Stuff stuff starts to make more sense. But again, all of th these weird laws, weird ass foreign problems, um, it's like, we're just kind of like, ciao, bye, bye, 2022, bye, bye. You know, we, we've had enough. It shows them doing a little something to stimulate the economy, but it's not enough. It's not enough. It's not enough. It's crazy. Um, how how is how is twenty twenty two going to be? presidentially like how the good thing is is that there's free will things can still change believe it or not things can actually still change but but the government is gonna things can still change y'all things can really change but it's like the people in the government are gonna have to really fight to change it we're really we're really at a crossroads. We can either go left or we can go right. So some of this stuff doesn't even have to happen. I just heard a mountain is going to split open. So I don't know if a volcano is going to erupt, but I just heard a mountain is going to split open. Um, hold on. Let me see. Oof. Tired. And the, it's, it's, this reading takes a lot of energy because it's a lot of crazy shit. So... And I'm not even trying to pull everything because it's just too much work at this point. Because um, it's a lot of negativity. Um, and I don't need to be rereading all of that. But I am warning y'all. Y'all may want to save your money. Choose wisely of what you do or what you spend it on. The world is not coming to an end. But it's going to be some hard patches. How is Biden going to do in 2022? Five, four, three, two, one, stop. I don't have any opinions on Biden. I don't even have any more opinions on Donald Trump. I'm just over it. It's like we're not, he's going to enact some laws that's going to piss us the fuck off. He's going to enact some laws that, that's going to piss us the fuck off. So some more laws, but it's to try to stimulate the economy. It's a lot, y'all. <laughs> We're not satisfied. We're like, no, th this is not. And I do think Biden's health is going to get worse in 2022. Um, his health is going to get worse. Um, yeah, guys. Um, very interesting. Very, very interesting year. 2022 was a tough year. It's tough. It seems like summer may be a little bit better. Um, but what advice does God, the heavenly father up in heaven, the people who work with God, you know, who, what, what advice are they trying to give us? Cause it's going to be some problems. Five, four, three, two, one, stop.
Mm. Don't be surprised if you have to make some tough decisions. Um, especially with matters of the home and actually protecting the home, balancing the home. Yeah, family, um, family, 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 a lot of family cards, a lot of family cards, a lot of cards of, um, problems in the home, uh, helping each other, like a lot of family members may see themselves having to help each other people having to move back in with like relatives or parents or having to co-op um certain major corporations are going to continue to shut down stuff like we may see some like popular places get shut down some more meaning more people will be out of work it shows people having to like figure out what they're going to do with their family life. Like, am I going to have to move in with my parents? It's a lot of thinking it through type of stuff. And I don't think it's because there's no jobs. I think it's because of the cost of everything at this point. Um, it's just too much at this point. Um, and I think we're at our breaking point in 2022. 2022 is the breaking point year. We can either go left or, or go far right. You see what I'm trying to say? Um, it's a lot of family cards. Take care of your family. Help each other. It's a lot of um, y'all are going to need help, you know. Um, not from toxic relatives, of course, because I don't recommend that. But it's a very strong energy of like, y'all are going to need each other. So y'all may, may want to try to get along. Um the reason why I was holding back on doing a reading on 2022 was because I knew it, it, it was filled with shit. I knew 2022 was filled with shit. And I didn't want y'all to think I was being negative. But 2022 is a shitty year. It's a shitty year. But you still have power over your own life. But it doesn't mean that what's going on in the United States won't affect you in some shape or form. So be prepared of that. You still are in charge of your own destiny, but also be prepared for some stuff, especially supply chains. And we thought it was bad this year. Wait until next year. Wait until, no, this year. We're, we're already in, yeah, y'all. So have patience. All right? I'm going to hold your hand. I'm going to hold your hand. Have patience, okay? And I'm Priestess Sabri at Three Hoodoo Sisters. Conjure on and happy 2020, 22, 20, 22. All right, bye.